All right, what's up everybody? So we are sitting inside a 2017 Chevrolet Impala. This one's got the LT package, pretty nice looking vehicle. And uh, in just a moment here, we're gonna hit the road and take it for just a quick drive and let you see how, a, uh, how an Impala drives, right? I mean, this thing is really sweet. So let's go ahead and hit the roads here, right? Yeah. Cut our blinker on. You know, Impalas are pretty popular vehicles. Uh, anytime we get one at our store, or even a Chevy Malibu for that matter, they seem to sell quite quickly. And uh, we get so many people just pulling in, calling. You know, it's, I don't know what it is really, but all I can say is a lot of people seem to want to own Impalas. You know, I'll tell you what I think it is though. I'll give you that much. I think it's because first off, it's got the, it's got the Chevy bow tie on the front and the back and on the steering wheel here. And everybody just loves a Chevrolet here in the uh, Southern states of the Carolinas. But also too, it is a larger vehicle. And uh, people here in America, I've talked about it before when we just filmed the GMC Denali last week you know, before New Year's there. But I talk about how Americans love things that are supersized. And somebody commented and said, well, you know, they, the supersized thing at McDonald's went away, you know, quite a while ago. But let me, I think you understand what I'm getting at when I say supersized. I mean, bigger things, large things. We love big drinks, big cups, big burgers. And, uh, you know, anytime, you know, something gets a little bit larger, we just like it. And that's just how us Americans are. So with that being said, an Impala is a bigger car. And that's got to be the reason why so many folks pull in and call and say, you know what, how much is it? How many miles? I want it today. Tell me what I can do to get behind the wheels of that Chevy Impala. So stay with me. Let's take a look at it. everybody so there's the Impala this is basically the last of the Impalas right this body style right here I don't believe Chevrolet is making Impalas anymore but again if you wanted one the most current that you could get this would be it right here so it's got a nice good looking front end right the nose on the car everything gets kind of pointed here even the chevrolet logo starts to get a little crease in it right there just boom right dab there in the middle nice and pointy so i like that about it some cars have kind of a rounded smooth front but this impala just boom kind of has those angles but still rounded in a way and again like i talked about a moment ago that big chevrolet logo then you got these squinty aggressive looking headlights again sharp angles people love sharp angles so there's that and then that projector back there and another chevrolet logo right in there again that gold bow tie just gets people gets just gets people going right all right let's keep moving through it does look pretty good with the silver wheels sometimes people swap out for a set of 20s that good looking chrome Chevrolet wheel on a five star looks nice, but the silver doesn't look too bad with the black. This one's got a set of Firestone tires on it. You can't go wrong there with Firestones. And I hope you're starting to enjoy this video with me. We're gonna move around a little bit quicker here. Already he's got the tinted windows. So that's gonna save you about 200 bucks right off the rip. And one thing for sure folks on the tint on the glass, whoever did the tint did a good job. It's not all bubbled up here in the back. That's nice. You can't even see in. I mean, that's dark. And again, it actually, if you really look close here, it's a little bit darker on these back windows than the front. So whoever the tent person was did a good job. If the policeman pulled you over, you could probably say, well, I got legal tent in the front and it's darker in the back. That's the way to do it. So anyways, but it does look darker all the way around because anytime you tent glass, with a black interior, it's going to make it look darker. That's just the way it goes. All right, passenger side's in good shape. 
there you have that. It's got those LED blinkers. And then the tail lights, nice and big. You're gonna be able to see those blinkers just blinking away, letting people know, hey, get out the way. As Ludacris said, move over, cause I'm getting in or I'm getting over. I'm getting over doing whatever I'm doing, but I'm doing it behind the wheel of an Impala. Now, what else do people like about Impalas? Well, they love these big trunks. I mean, look at all the space back here. I mean, that's a massive amount of room. I know I could jump back there right now. Every time I get in the back of a trunk of a vehicle, it doesn't really make the views go up that much more on the video and I don't get that many more likes. So I'm not jumping back there today, but I will tell you. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and take a look in the back of an Impala. See what we got for space back here. Let's go ahead and hit it in that wide screen mode. Yeah, baby. So, look at all the space you get in the back of an Impala. I mean, this is definitely what it's all about, y'all. That right there is fantastic. Also, I mean, look at all the room going this direction. I mean, that's a lot of space. And I got a bunch of headroom up top up here. I mean, good to go. So, I like that. Also getting the center armrest with cup holders. Pretty sweet. And then up front there, my goodness, what a absolutely gorgeous dash. I tell you, that thing looks good, doesn't it? It really does. I tell you, let's move up. Let's get a closer look. Let's take it right on back down to the store. You know, it just, it amazes me. These Impalas, they really do, they amaze me. Because you get a lot of bang for the buck with this. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, of course. You know, those are the things that are the obvious. Sometimes I do state the obvious, like power seats and lumbar supports. You do have the vinyl with the cloth. I know a lot of y'all might think that's leather, but it actually is more of a vinyl or more of a leatherette. But Chevrolet's done a great job with the fit and finish on the Impala. That's why so many people like them. Got a good looking spot to hold onto that steering wheel. Also, your dash looks nice. It's wrapped up there with some of the same materials that they use on the seats. And again, my most favorite feature that most of y'all always point out in the comment section is that right there. Pretty cool. It's got a power outlet in there too. It's still kind of, still, it's one of the cool features, you know? <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing 2022. And I'm talking about a feature that's been out for quite a while. Anyways, cup holders look good. Nice big center armrest. You still got your OnStar, no crap handles above every windowsill, all that good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and put that seat belt on and take this V6 Impala down the road. Now Dodge, a lot of people buy Dodge sedans too, folks, that Charger. Man, if Chevrolet would have just brought us an SS with a 5.3 Vortec under the hood. <laughs> Man, if there was like some type of LS swap under the hood of an Impala, Oh man, people would be going nuts to get something like that, you know? I mean, let's just face it. Will Chevy ever do it? I don't know. They definitely did it with putting an EcoBoost under there, a four-cylinder turbo. But let me tell you folks, the way the world has been moving for many years now, it's all about fuel efficiency and emissions and all that. So as much as all of us love to have some speed, you know, it's at the end of the day, it's all about right up top up there, but also making sure that the vehicles we drive will consume the proper amounts of fuels to not break our budgets or our pockets. As you know, gas prices are not very cheap right now. So you may want an EcoBoost or the V6 that's under here. That just may be something you want. The V8 may not be for you. All right, I got this lady telling me to go across, so let's go ahead and hit across. But anyways, thank you for watching. I tell you, about 10 years from now, we'll probably have an electric Impala. They'll come back out with it and they'll have an EV version. Who knows? Mark my words. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. Have a blessed day. And thank you again for being here with us a whole nother year. We'll see you soon.